हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग आई एम डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी एट आहान हेल्थ केयर रोहिणी न्यू डेली एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पोस्टीरियर अप्रोच टू एल्बो विद और विदाउट ओलेक्नोन ओस्टियोटमी सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पोस्टीरियर अप्रोच टू एल्बो विद ओलेक्नोन ओस्टियोटमी सो लेट्स डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस अप्रोच वी कैन यूज दिस अप्रोच फॉर ओपन रिडक्शन एंड इंटरनल फिक्सेशन ऑफ डिजिटल ह्यूमरस फ्रैक्चर्स we can use this approach for removing any foreign body from the elbow joint or we can use this approach for treating non unions of distal humerus fractures or elbow fractures so let's uh, come to the position we will keep the uh, patient in prone or in uh, lateral position we will keep the arm abducted by 90 degree we will uh, over the arm support and uh, we will we can use a tourniquet in this approach so what are the surgical landmarks for this approach uh, we have to first mark the medial and the lateral side of the elbow uh, we, we should write with a pen that this is a medial and this is a lateral so that we will not have confusion in the entire approach and then we will just mark the olecranon process and then we will mark the skin incision we will start approximately 5 cm from the tip of the olecranon olecranon uh, in the arm posteriorly so we we come down 5 cm uh, in the arm till the tip of the olecranon then we take a turn on the lateral side we go along the olecranon process and then we turn medially and we end our incision over the subcutaneous surface of the ulna so this is the in skin incision then we take the skin incision we cut the subcut in line with the skin incision so once we cut the subcut so we have uh, this anatomy that we can see here so we have the triceps muscle we have to see the triceps muscle we have to see the insertion of the triceps mechanism or the triceps muscle over the olecranon process then there are the muscles of the fore, forearm which are there in the field uh, we can have anconius muscle on the lateral side and we can have flexor carpi ulnaris muscle on the medial side then after we identify these structures we the most important step of this approach is to identify and separate the ulna now so we know that the ulna now lies on the posterior aspect or the posterior to the medial epicondyle and we are taking a posterior approach so we are already posterior so we just need to go over on the medial epicondyle palpate the ulna now with the finger over the bone identify and separate the ulna now and use a vein loop or tape to separate the nerve so that it will never come in the approach uh, so we should separate the nerve so once we separate the nerve so we should have a pre plan about our ulnar uh, olecranon osteotomy and if we want to screw the uh, olecranon process later after the procedure then we should do the uh, drilling and tapping now only at this step only in the olecranon so that it will be easier to fix later and we will not have difficulties in fixing the olecranon process and we should be able to uh, we should have a pre planning about what type of osteotomy and the location of the osteotomy that we should take so uh, i usually prefer a v shape osteotomy uh, i will take a 2 cm from the tip of the olecranon i will come down 2 cm from the tip of the olecranon and then uh, i'll mark uh, over the bone a v shape osteotomy just uh, below the it will just come just below the uh, insertion of the triceps mechanism and uh, we just take a v shape osteotomy and the apex of the v should lie distally so this is a v shape osteotomy so after we take a v shape v shape osteotomy we ensure that the whole bone is cut and the osteotomy is complete and then we strip the soft tissue attachment of the medial and the lateral sides and once we strip strip the soft tissue we will lift the uh, osteotomy part of the olecranon along with the triceps and we will uh, take the this retract this proximally and once we re uh, retract the structures proximally this is the view that we get and we can clearly see that we are able to see completely the trochlea the lateral epicondyle and the medial epicondyle so once we have this exposure we can fix our fragments and we can or we want to do whatever malunion or fractures we can fix it so this was a approach to uh, elbow with olecranon osteotomy now if we want to have the same approach without olecranon osteotomy then 
till the time we are palpating the arna now we are saving preserving the arna now the approach is the same and once we have this we just identify the medial side of the uh, humerus bone and once we identify the bone we flex the elbow by 30 degrees and we reflect the triceps mechanism from the medial to lateral in continuity with the olecranon and ulnar periosteum so in continuity with the periosteum we will reflect the uh, muscle from the bone and we go till the attachment of the triceps mechanism over the olecranon so once we reach that level where the olecranon is attaching the olecranon at that level uh, with a uh, sharp osteotomo uh, osteotome uh, small sling of the uh, bone or silver of the bone we will dissect the attachment or the insertion of the triceps mechanism with a sharp osteotome and then we reflect the muscle and then after that if we uh, flex the elbow by more than 90 degree we will be able to see the elbow joint we, we, we can cut the capsule and reach the elbow joint so this was a approach to elbow with olecranon uh, without olecranon osteotomy so uh, this was the approach to elbow posterior approach to elbow so more for more such video please like share and subscribe to our channels thank you guys thank you very much